Good morning, everybody. Okay, so we're going to start chapter 12 here. Um, so 12.1, measurement benchmarks. So this is just an introductory lesson on um, customary units of length, which we would know as inches, feet, yards, and miles, and then metric units of length, so millimeters, centimeters, meters, kilometers. Um, also, uh, units of liquid, ounces, pints, quarts, half gallons, gallons and weight ounces pounds and tons so it's not too hard of a lesson just some maybe new vocabulary in here so our essential question today is how can you use benchmarks to understand the relative size of measurement units and if you're not familiar what a benchmark would be it'd be like saying something is about a pound or about a foot long or about a mile from here things where you use kind of a, a standard of unit like a mile to say the distance of something it's five miles or it's about five miles away or something something to, along those lines so here we have the unlock the problem jake says the length of his bike is about four yards use the benchmark units below to determine if jake's statement is reasonable and then it gives you some definitions here um, a mile is a customary unit for measuring length or distance. The benchmark shows the distance you can walk in 20 in about 20 minutes. Um, in next part here, a baseball bat is about one yard long, which is, you know, if you think about what a baseball bat looks like. Um, since Jake's bike is shorter than four times the length of the baseball bat, his bike is shorter than four yards here. So we would say, so Jake's statement is not reasonable and let me do I'll do a little snip and sketch here um, so that we can fill in some of this even though this example is pretty basic here so then we would say his reasonable is not reasonable Jake's bike is about I don't know, probably about two baseball bats long, not four. That is basically all there is to this. Next part, customary units of measure. Uh, one cup is eight fluid ounces. So um, if you're working at home and you happen to have measuring cups or you have a half gallon or a gallon of something in your refrigerator, say milk or juice or I have coffee creamer in my refrigerator, but things like that that have the actual measurement on them <clears throat> you know try to um, oh my gosh my throat try to work with your kids on looking at what is a cup what is a pint what is a quart what is a half gallon um, what's a gallon we're familiar with a lot of these <clears throat> looks like I need some more coffee this morning um, <clears throat> so we would say about how much liquid is in a mug of hot chocolate well we're probably looking at uh, like one cup, maybe one pint, but that is a large cup of hot chocolate. I'm going to stick with a cup there. Go ahead, I'm going to close that out. And let's look at customary units of weight here. So an ounce is very small, um, and we would have 16 ounces to equal about one pound. So if you think about what the weight of a single pencil is versus the weight of a loaf of bread versus the weight of a car, how much does a grapefruit weigh? So we're looking at a citrus fruit here. So I would say it's probably going to be about one pound. I'm not even going to sketch that out. So on the bottom one here, you'd say about a pound. So it's all about the using a benchmark to determine the weight of something. All right, so page 472, the second side for examples, is going to be the benchmarks for metric units. Now. We're not as familiar with these, so there's some good uh, little tricks to uh, remind yourself of what a centimeter, millimeter, and things like that look like. So like place value, the metric system is, is based on multiples of 10. Each unit is 10 times larger, is as large as the next smaller unit. Below are some common metric benchmarks. Use the benchmark metric units. Uh, for the example here, so a millimeter, if you can take a look at this picture, um, is about I'm not even sure what that is in its hand, if that's a sheet of paper or what. But think of it, if you look right down at your fingernail, it's about the width of your fingernail. So it's very, very small. Um, lead pencils, this is what I would tell my class. 
So lead pencils, if you're using a mechanical pencil that needs lead, your lead is measured in millimeters. So if you have a 0.7 lead, you are almost one millimeter. Some lead pencils are a full millimeter. It's a fairly thick lead on a, on a, on a mechanical pencil. Um, if you have 0 0.5 lead, you have half a millimeter. So it takes two of your leads side by side to make a millimeter. So thinking about the tip of a pencil is a good way to think about a millimeter. Um, a centimeter is about the distance across your finger. A decimeter, so deci here means 10, is the distance from the inside of your palm from your little finger to the top of your thumb here stretched out. One meter is a, roughly the length uh, the going side to side on the door. It's also just about a yard. If you've ever had a yard stick, normally one side is um, inches, feet, and yards, and the other side is millimeters, centimeters, and a meter. A kilometer, uh, one kilometer in about 10 minutes. If you are walking, uh, or if you've ever run a 5K race or something like that, five kilometers is just over three miles. Um, that is the benchmark I use because I have done a few of those races. So just some um, practicals for thinking about metric units. So let's see, is the length of your classroom greater than or less than one kilometer? Well, kilometer is something that you would measure like distance in a car, distance you run over time. So definitely less. Uh, here we go on metric units of liquid volume. So anything that is liquid that you would drink uh, or store as a liquid. A millimeter is going to be super, super tiny. Again, in the classroom, I would say everybody put out your water bottles and take a look at what the label says. So when you look at a water bottle, most of the, the smaller size that I would say most kids come with are the half liters or 500 milliliters. So this little dropper filled 500 times is about the size of a small water bottle. I like the liter bottles, so it'd be a thousand of these. Milli means thousand, so it takes 1,000 of these small millimeters uh, to fill up a fairly large size water bottle. You can take a look again if you're at home, have your kids look at labels and see if it gives it, it gives you a uh, liquid volume in terms of liter, liters, milliliters, ounces, quarts, things like that. The question here is about how much medicine is usually in a medicine bottle. About 120, and I would definitely go with the milliliters here because 120 liters would be a lot of bottles of medicine. Uh, metric units of mass. Interesting that they use money for mass here, but metric units of mass, about one gram and about one kilogram. So kilo over here, K-I-L-O, means a thousand. Um, and so one gram, now imagine if you had a stack of a thousand one dollar bills, um, that would equal in weight about the, the, what a baseball bat would weigh in kilograms. So about how much is the mass of a paper clip? So are we going with grams or kilograms here? Probably gonna stick with the gram side. Um, it just gives you some, ideas in your head about what it actually looks like when we talk about 500 milliliters of water. Most of the time we don't have that, have a, a quick picture in our head of that, but if we set a, a small bottle of water, automatically you see a small bottle of water and you understand the amount of liquid that would be there. The same thing, we don't use uh, kilograms and grams as much, we're going to use ounces and pounds, but this is a good way to think about what a gram would be and what a kilogram would be. All right, so I'm going to leave this video there. The next two pages have to do with problem solving, so we'll make another video for that. Uh, have a great day. Hope to see you guys soon. Um, I will be posting this to YouTube uh, later today, so have, talk to you guys later. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.